a powerful solar flare has been traveling through space, and it will arrive at planet Earth on Wednesday, which may trigger a geomagnetic storm. This comes just a week after a similar moderate geomagnetic storm was triggered by the powerful eruptions hurtled by the sun towards the Earth. The burst, which came from a sunspot called AR-2936, was especially long-lasting, enduring for more than four hours, astronomer Tony Phillips reported at spaceweather.com. The forecast is based on the data collected by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory Mission's Large Angle and Spectrometric Coronagraph. The Center of Excellence in Space Sciences said the defilament eruption was observed on the sun south of the disk center on February 6, 2022. The eruption was recorded by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, Mission's Large Angle and Spectrometric Coronagraph, LASCO, said CES. SOHO is a joint mission by NASA and the European Space Agency launched in 1995 to study the sun. It routinely identifies the coronal mass ejections. The CES further said, that the Earth will be impacted by the moderate geomagnetic storm in the range 451 to 615 km per second from February 9, 548 UT, to February 10, 953 UT. What is a solar flare? A solar flare is an intense eruption of electromagnetic radiation in the Sun's atmosphere. Flares occur in active regions and are often, but not always, accompanied by coronal mass ejections, solar particle events, and other solar phenomena. CMEs can dramatically change Earth's magnetic field, which can cause power grids to fail as equipment is affected or destroyed. As we continue to fight the effects of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, businesses increasingly rely on digital solutions and communications networks. But what if those systems were taken out by nature? There's a real risk that a geomagnetic storm triggered by a burst of solar energy could overwhelm our power grids, shutting down cell towers and crippling worldwide communications. If this happened today, the disaster would knock out power plants, transmission lines, and substations for entire regions or cities. Huge swaths of the world's population could be without power for weeks at a time, leading to health crises, food shortages, and devastating economic effects. The impact is unlikely to be very hazardous. Moderate geomagnetic storms are likely, the CES further said on Twitter. The solar storm could also touch off geomagnetic activity that could make the northern lights visible, which means the solar flare could create auroras from the Arctic Circle to New York. Scientists are working to protect our connections by using space-based research to learn about the sun's energy. Experts are also doing everything they can to safeguard power stations against the effects of solar storms, meaning we are ready this time. The question remains, do we stand a chance against nature? Let's discuss it in the comments.